I walked on the banks of the tin can banana dock and sat down under the huge shade of a Southern Pacific locomotive to look at the sunset over the box house hills and cry. Jack Kerouac sat beside me on a busted rusty iron pole companion. We thought the same thoughts of a soul, bleak and blue and sad eyed, surrounded by the gnarled steel roots of trees of machinery. The oily water on the river mirrored the red sky. Sun sank on top of final Frisco peaks. No fish in that stream, no hermit in those mounts, just ourselves. Roomy eyed and hung over like old bums on the riverbank, tired and wily. Look at the sunflower, he said. There was a dead gray shadow against the sky, big as a man, sitting dry on top of a pile of ancient sawdust. I rushed up and chanted, it was my first sunflower. Memories of Blake, my vision, Harlem, and hells of the eastern rivers, bridges clanking Joe's greasy sandwiches, dead baby carriages. Black treadless tires forgotten and unretreaded. The poem of the riverbank, condoms and pots, steel knives, nothing stainless, only the dank muck and the razor sharp artifacts passing into the past. And the gray sunflower poised against the sunset, crackly, bleak, and dusty with a smut and smog and smoke of old and locomotives in its eye. Corolla of bleary spikes pushed down and broken like a battered crown. Seeds fallen out of its face. Soon to be toothless mouth of sunny air, sun rays obliterated on its hairy head like a dried wire spider web. Leaves stuck out like arms out of the stem. Gestures from the sawdust roof, broke pieces of plaster fallen out of the black twig. A dead fly in its ear, unholy battered old thing you were. My sunflower, oh my soul, I loved you then. The crime was no man's crime, but death in human locomotives. All that dress of dust, that veil of darkened railroad skin, that smog of cheek, that eyelid of black misery, that sooty hand or phallus or protuberance of artificial worse than dirt, industrial, modern, all that civilization spotting your crazy golden crown, and those blear thoughts of death and dusty loveless eyes and ends and withered roots below, in the home pile of sand and sawdust, rubber dollar bills, skin of machinery, the guts and innards of the weeping, coughing car, the empty, lonely tin cans with their rusty tongues alack. What more could I name? The smoked ashes of some cock cigar, the cunts of wheelbarrows and the milky breasts of cars, all these entangled in your mummied roots. And you there, standing before me in the sunset, all your glory in your form, a perfect beauty of the sunflower, a perfect, excellent, lovely sunflower existence, a sweet, natural eye to the new hip moon, woke up alive and excited, grasping in the sunset shadow, sunrise, golden monthly breeze. How many flies buzzed round you, innocent of your grime, while you cursed the heavens of the railroad and your flower soul? Poor dead flower, when did you forget you were a flower? When did you look at your skin and decide you were an impotent, dirty old locomotive? The ghost of a locomotive, the specter and shade of a once powerful man, American locomotive. You were never no locomotive, sunflower. You were a sunflower. And you, locomotive, you are a locomotive. Forget me not. So I grabbed up the skeleton thick sunflower and stuck it at my side like a scepter and delivered my sermon to my soul and Jack's soul too and anyone who will listen. We're not our skin of grime. We're not dread, bleak, dusty, imageless locomotive. We're beautiful sunflowers inside, blessed by our own seed and golden, hairy, naked accomplishment bodies growing into mad, black, formal sunflowers in the sunset, spied on by our eyes under the shadow of the mad locomotive riverbank, sunset, Frisco, hilly, tin can, evening, sit-down vision.